Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff, and it's two days after Christmas, Christ's Day, and I'd like to come and follow up on yesterday's devotional. Yesterday, I said to you that the three keys to Christmas are the words, the prepositions, for, from, and after. And I want to ask you today, have you come to realize that your perspective, your attitude, tends to greatly impact and guide your actions? What I mean by that is if you don't biblically embrace that what God intended for you to get from Christ's day is a calling and a commissioning as a Christian, well then you're not likely to devote your life to that purpose and those priorities. Secondly, if you've rejected the idea that you should have brought your worship and pursuit of God's glory into the takeaway from your Christmas. When we ask, what did you get for Christ on his day? Rather than think about what you take away, if you don't realize that this is for you to bring God glory and bring your praise and worship, again, that's not likely to guide your priorities, your sense of purpose. And consequently, if that's not what you've taken from Christ, his calling and commissioning, and if you've not brought your worship and your witness for Christ, well then after Christmas, you're not likely to live on that narrow path of truth and love. You see, I've come to realize, and I pray you do as well, that most people, well, they find what they're looking for. If you want the world, you'll find it. If you want to worship the king, you'll tend to find yourself in the context of the true Christian family that also lives prioritizing the worship of, the working for, the walking with, the warring because of, and the ultimate witness to the glory of our God, his gospel, and his grace. Friend, I want to ask you, what do you want as you go post-Christmas into every day of the rest of your life? I pray that you want to be one whose worship, walk, work, warfare, and witness speaks to your biblical understanding of Christ, Christmas, Christianity, and what it is to be a Christian. Amen and amen.